Hello and welcome back to the Witcher special quest. Okay, so we found some feathers here, which I, I guess I'll follow because it's it's close. And as I, I was explaining from my last video, th this so far is looking really good. Oh crap! Oh crap! What are they attacking? Oh, it's another aftermath. Picking the shit out of it. Exactly a tool of the Witcher trade, but looks like it could be useful. Hey, bitches, get off it. Black feathers and the markings, same as on the previous corpse. Fox seems to be attacking as one. No use trying to pick them off one by one. Ow! <laughs> could incinerate them all with Igni, though. Don't see any other way. Whoa. You okay, Witcher, sir? I'm fine. Seems the Blackbirds are the culprits. Revultures. They're scavenger birds that enjoy large monsters' leftovers. They're usually harmless. Bitch, don't give me that tone. I'm, I'm just new here. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I can't believe they would attack a living Aftonoth. Those birds attacked me too. Any idea why they suddenly turned aggressive? Oh. To be honest, I'm just as clueless as you. Unless there was some kind of external factor? Something significant enough to cause a sudden change in the ecosystem. Especially for them to be because that's that's an article thing. These uh, revolters were giving a unique animation, flocking together and throwing out an attack at you. Something that nudged them to the brink of starvation, for instance. Exactly. It didn't seem like that was the case, though. Did you see how they were flying? Completely in unison. It was like one big flock monster. I've been out here in the forest researching endemic life longer than I'd like to admit, but I've never seen them do that. It was as if something was manipulating them. Yeah, that sounds like the case. Notice anything else in the forest recently? Anything out of the ordinary? Come to think of it, I think I spotted a new form of endemic life. It was just once, at night. It ran away when it saw me, though. Necker could be a small humanoid creature, ugly smirk on its face. <laughs> Got lucky. Would have attacked you in the blink of an eye if it thought for a moment it was stronger than you. Now that you mention it, it had something on its face, around its mouth, like it had just eaten something. This forest is teeming with life. There's an intricate food chain here that is constantly revolving. I wonder if that Necker lost its need to attack anything because it was able to find plenty to eat without doing so. Pretty bold hypothesis. Though it would explain why this one wasn't aggressive. They usually are. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I wonder where it scurried off to. Might have sensed my presence. Danger. Went off somewhere. Once I'm gone, it could come crawling back. If it does, I'll send for our best hunter to capture it. <laughs> she knows, because I did all of her quests with my fucking capture net. <laughs> Mind my asking why you chose this line of work? I've always loved critters ever since I was little. That, and it's easy peasy. Yeah, compared to finding Anjanaths and Elder Dragons. I'll spare you the details, but long story short, one day I went out looking for frogs, lizards, and snails. And the next thing I knew, I was out here. Just like magic, don't you think? Hmm. I owe it all to my partners in research for always being so patient with me. See where you're coming from. Got folk like that in my world, in my life, too. They're too good to me. My life wouldn't be what it is today without them. Aww. 
That's nice. These are probably like the least characters that have any type of like uh, character development. Because uh, you just spot them randomly you know, in the map. It's like, oh hey, can you help me capture this fish or this bug? And once you do it, it's like, oh yay, thanks. That's it. <laughs> but now they're, they're giving them a little bit of backstory. Unfortunately, I, I especially don't like her voice. It's kind of an annoying. But it's nice. Like, Take care. Like they're giving these characters interactions and I'm still missing to talk to the other one. Clear as day. This is the work of something that wields magic. Powerful magic. We need to figure out what it is. We should try to find another commission member. Yeah, and I know where he is. God damn this so far this has been fucking great. Definitely blew my expectations of this event quest. It's so weird. I mean, I mean, I kind of wonder what causes this type of like shift in attention. Commission member should be one in this area. Uh, like, why did Gerald get so much special treatment? Uh, while. What do we have here? A journal. Oh no. While things like Final Fantasy, uh, Assassin's Creed, and. I guess even Street Fighter <laughs> didn't got this much attention. Oh, there are my card. Let's see. Notes run margin to margin. Must belong to one of the commission members. Need to look around. Look for clues. Ooh. Long stride. Deep prints. Took off in a panic. Footprints lead deeper into the woods. Wonder what spooked him. Man, Witcher sounds like Snake. Uh, well, I imagine old Snake would actually sound like. I've never seen these things before. I'm so invested on this, by the way. <laughs> That's why I'm not talking with this world. Unlucky ones at that. Whoa! What the fuck happened, Pookie? No signs of predation. Roots choked them to death, it seems. Hopefully, whoever left these footprints was luckier. <gasps> Pookie, Pookie! Holy shit! <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, I know we slay monsters and like break his face, break his wings, cut his tail, but this is a. to see them dead in a different manner is just so uh, unnerving. 
Holy shit. What kind of boss are they gonna add? Oh shit, researcher. Oh, oh, it's you. A fiver. You sensed I was in trouble and came to rescue me, did you? You almost got yourself killed, idiot. <laughs> Again. These roots came out of nowhere and trapped me here. Hmm? Wait, you are not from the fifth, are you? Nope. Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. I was sent here to look into certain events happened recently in these woods. Ah, oh, yes. The commander spoke of you. You look quite spunky. <laughs> well, welcome to the new world. I would shake your hand, but, well, you know. I am a member of the research commission. A master of the botanical arts, so to speak. <laughs> Need help. <laughs> Need a hand. Please. There are hunters who are in need of my services. This is no time for me to be tied up in roots. All right. But what's in it for me? <laughs> ah, I had a feeling you would say that. Alas, I don't exactly carry a pouch full of zenny on me at all times. However much you require, I'm sure the commander will gladly compensate you. Would that suffice? Gotta say, you're awfully lively for someone who's trapped in tree roots. We'll talk compensation later. Oh, he's like that. He's been into trouble before. Roots seem to like you a lot. <laughs> Ugh, I assure you the feeling is not mutual. <laughs> there I was, minding my business whilst conducting my investigation, when suddenly these roots just leaped out towards me. There was no time to think, so I ran away as fast as my legs could carry me. But these roots are persistent devils. I was able to outmaneuver them for a while, but eventually they cornered me here and, well, I was just in the middle of trying to persuade my captors to release me when you showed up. Mean to say you tried to talk the brutes around to your point of view? Bit carefree under the circumstances, wouldn't you say? The Commission has quite a capable hunter, you see. This Sapphire Star is the first to arrive at the scene. <laughs> and exhibits incredible power that never fails to save the day. Oh, wow. I like how they also, like, make you, the character feel like, oh, the, he's, he's done a lot of stuff for us. Our Sapphire Star has saved so many of us in the Commission. I was sure I would be rescued in no time. But perhaps I rely on our hunter too much. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Think you might have learned your lesson? Lesson? Why, the lesson has yet to begin. There is much research to be done on this phenomenon. Guess not. Guess not. <laughs> Don't exactly look like normal tree roots, these. Definitely something strange about them. And, uh, freeing you might cause you some discomfort. Sorry. I leave the method to you. Just get me out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna burn you. Not the safest way, but Igni would take care of those roots right quick. Too bad you don't get any other uh, Ig Igni signs. Well, signs, because Igni has the fire one probably. Wah! <laughs> Oh, HD cutscene. You all right? Weird. Why they made an HD cutscene for that? <laughs> thank you, thank you. That was incredible. Oh my, I had no idea you were a wizard. A uh, witcher. I'm no wizard. I'm a witcher, a monster slayer. Ah, yes. Forgive me, Master Witcher. Now, what brings you to this part of the forest? Looking for information. Saw roots like these on my way here. They common in your world? Absolutely not. I've never seen them before, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It is true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle. But they never grow that fast. In our world, people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times, things can and do grow at abnormal rates. 
<laughs> yeah. But those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. The roots. Why'd they attack you? Any idea? I haven't the faintest. I was recording in my notebook at the time. Notice anything else during the attack? In all honesty, once the roots took hold, I thought I would end up as some monster's dinner. But luckily, that didn't happen. You saw them too, yes? Those poor Puke Puke choked to death by the roots? Yeah. Seems they were untouched by any predators. Guess the roots attack anything that wanders within range. Damn territorial, this thing we're dealing with, whatever it is. Plants can be territorial, but never with such awareness. This is no plants doing. It must be something else. So, like plants so much you became a botanist, huh? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I love them or hate them. Botanist? Huh. I was thought I was botanist. <laughs> you see, we Wyvarians have a longer lifespan than humans. And when you live for so long, you become aware of certain things. How fleeting life can be, for instance. But plants are different. I can always count on them to be there, no matter how many years pass. In other words, I chose to lead a life with plants so I wouldn't have to bear the pain of seeing my human companions come and go. Fucking story development. This guy's like one of the po like probably to a lot of people like the most He's always like getting in the way and although he tries to help you he always like condescends like uh, oh so oh thank you for doing this. Oh what was I doing? Ah eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Look you have a new harvest. So now like they they went to the explanation why he became a botanist or why he's so intrigued in plants and you know tries to be as much as uh, like doesn't let you in as a hunter because of that like he only gains the hunter's trust because of what he said earlier it was like oh he always comes and saves me he, he does all these things for me and for my plants but now he explains why he's like that call me craven if you will but that was the path i chose to walk Oh, damn dogs. And if that makes me a coward, so be it. Fear of loss. Wouldn't call it cowardly. It's something we all feel. What's amusing is, thanks to my research on plants, I ended up interacting with humans on a daily basis. Plants have brought back to me what I had once thrown away, and I am forever grateful for it. Oh, there he goes. He also explains why he. Why well, he trusted the hunter to save him. Nice. <laughs> These, uh, Puke Puke. What kind of beasts are we talking about? We saw them before, dude. They are large bird wyverns, known for their vividly colorful feathers and scales. They have large, bulgy eyes and surprisingly long tongues, but if you look closely, their features are actually quite charming. You should see one for yourself. I do. He's dead. Keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> Bye. Time I was on my way. Try to stay out of trouble, would ya? Might not be around next time to burn you free. <laughs> Can't always expect hunters to come to your rescue either. All right, you are. I've acquired the samples I need, so I'll remain here on my best behavior. Best of luck to you out there, Master Witcher. Mm -hmm. Just try to keep quiet, all right? <laughs> Control of plants and animals, cunning as a hare and fox combined. No doubt about it. This is a lesson's doing. Lesson also transported both me and that necker to this world. Seems stronger than a normal lesson, though. Abundant life in this forest could be a factor. All right, need to find its totem. Should be deep in the woods near the center. Map ought to be helpful. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm also glad they picked this this map because it's probably one of the biggest maps in, in the game. But also one. Uh huh. Even side quests while I'm doing this? <laughs> oh, wrong button. Current location, points of interest. I can use this to figure out my way around. Mm, pretty useful. <laughs> Buttons right here. Mm, okay, I'll I'll get to it. Medallion's humming. Totem must be somewhere around here. Mm, Leshen's totem should be able to lure the Leshen out by destroying it. Huh. Hey, it's Jagras. Wait, they're kind of big. Damn it. Might have known it couldn't possibly be that easy. Oh, God. I'll cut you down first. Oh, God. <laughs> come on, come closer. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I did not like the strength of this. <laughs> this is so funny though. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Witcher what? Oh, the shield is like a nice. Silence now. Seems they were controlled by magic. Leshen could hold sway over other beasts I run into. Need to be careful. Now, show yourself. Oh. Huh. It was taking a while to charge up. Oh, interact, dude. <laughs> Toasty. Ah, oh, there were vultures. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? My vultures. I think we should do the trick. No, oh, no. <laughs> Oh god. That all you got. Oh god. <laughs> Ah. 
Oh no, I need to eat something. Oh damn it. Come on. Oh fuck. Now my eagle's pretty important in this fight. It's so weird fighting this guy in this world. <laughs> ah, I missed. <laughs> I can't wait to see my favorite uh, streamer play this quest just to see his reactions to uh, fucking attention to detail dude Got poison. Oh, what's that? What he dropped? Dragon pod. Still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> 